So we're ready to start our next page. So you're going to be getting out this, um, this piece that we've already made, and you're going to turn it over. This is going to be the top. This is where the spine is going to be. Put this aside because we don't need it right now. You'll be applying something to the top of it. So just put this away. Then you're going to cut a base piece, and we're going to build on this base piece seven and a half inches tall by six inches wide. Put that aside. You're going to cut two pieces, two and a quarter inches wide, six and a half inches long. Put these in the scoreboard at the six inch side, six and a half inch side up, you're gonna score it six inches. At the two and a quarter inch side up, you're going to score it at a half an inch. And you're going to do with do that with both of your pieces. So score at six and a half. Seems like I cut my paper. Oh, I don't think I did. Hmm. And then you're going to cut one piece, and I'm, I cut this out of, this is 65 pound cardstock, this is 80, 85 pound cardstock. One piece, six and a half inches tall by one and three quarter inches wide. You are not going to be scoring this. So we are done with our scoreboard. So go ahead and fold and burnish these. And the way this is going to sit, you're going to get your base page. Um, I got, this is the spine side. So I remember. So where you folded this one, and this one's going to be folded this way, we're going to be mitering that corner we're making kind of like a half a pocket. You're going to be adhering that down here. So this side should be flush with the base. And then this other piece, same thing, you're going to be, you're going to have to re <laughs> fold and burnish this part that's going down to the spine. And then this part is going to the edge of the paper. I did cut my paper. Hmm. So I'm going to redo this one. So let me redo this paper. I'm not sure I cut that. So I have everything um, with my score tape. So you mitered the corners here. So they're like that and make sure you miter this corner too. Probably doesn't really matter because we're going to be putting in paper, but the way these are going to fit, this um, short edge is going to be lined up with the spine side and then this long edge is going to be lined up with the top. So it's going to go like this. This thing, same thing. Oh, did I do it the wrong way? Yes, I. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So I'll just can. Oh my God! This has to go like this, and this has to be down here. So I did that wrong. Can I just flip it the other way? Let's see. Yes, I can just flip it the other way and reapply my score tape. Oh my bad. So. Yeah, I did them the same way. So the way this is going to work, you want this at the bottom and this at, on the spine side like that. So I'm just going to, I think I'll just redo this one. And um, I'm not sure why this paper is tearing. It, this one tore too. This must not be good 65 pound. I just bought some new 65 pound cardstock. Maybe I'll just use the 80 pound for these also. Anyway, I've got to redo this one. 
So spine side, long side goes like this, spine side, long side goes like that. So we have our two half pockets in. Here's the spine. This is the way it looks. I had to do a little trimming because I was a little bit off with my six inches up here. So I just put it in my trimmer and kind of made it even. So get my spine. Now we are going to be using this paper. This is from the um, backgrounds, 12 by 12 backgrounds. And we're going to be complementing it with this paper. So that's going to be like this. If you like the darker gold, this combination, you can use that. Either one would work. Um, and we're not committed because we're going to be cutting the paper and you can try it out, see what you like. So either one of those would work. So first we're just going to figure out what size we need. This piece of paper is going to be going all the way into this back piece. So we're going to cut a piece that fits all the way to the back like this. And then from top, top to bottom. So that is what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to get my width and then the length, and then I'm going to be cutting that. Well, I really didn't need to, to measure it. I'll, this base is seven and a half inches tall. So what you're going to do is cut this piece of paper um, seven and three eighths inches and then it's five and six inches wide, so you're going to cut it five and seven eighths, and then that will fit in here. I haven't inked the edges, but I'm going to put that in there just for a trial. This is with the dark gold, just um, using that for now. Not going to adhere that down yet. Then we're going to cut pieces. For this part right here. So we are going to be cutting from this paper. It's going to be, what is this? One and three quarter inches by six. So same thing, it's going to be five and seven eighths inches long. And one and three quarter, let's see, this is one and three quarters minus one eighth. So I'm going to put that in there and get that cut. So this is, we should be able to get two strips from this piece right here. So is that the part that I want? I just love this paper. I just love this paper. Don't want it from down here. Can't do it from the sides. So The only thing I don't like is this um, this streaking up here. It's not that bad, but I really want to use this paper. Anyway, so I ended up cutting about two inches off at the top. I did not like that streaking. Um, that's just me. You probably don't need to do that. Put that in my stash. And then I cut two pieces five and seven eighths inches long by one eighth less than one and three quarters. So that's one and um, five eighths. That sounds right. So that's going to go there. And this is going to go down here. still haven't inked the edges so that's about how it would look with the dark gold as opposed to the light gold that just pops a little bit more so I think I'm going to use the light gold so I'm going to go ahead and ink ink these and get them down 
I got my back piece in, I used this tacky glue to put it in. I can't do it with score tape. Um, and art glitter glue dries way too fast for me. I am way too slow to put this in. So this gives you a little bit more, more time to get it positioned. So that's in. So now I'm going to put these pieces in. One thing I wanted to bring out to you is look at the birds. Make sure you don't put your birds upside down. So look at the birds, get those going in the right direction, and then get these down. So these two pieces are in. So now you're gonna get this single piece of black cardstock. Um, maybe, maybe this was 80 pounds. You're gonna cut this paper again to fit over here like that. And we've got to figure out where we're going to position it, but it's going to be like a half an inch up from here and half an inch down from here. And I'll have to check. I think the way I had it was a half an inch in too. Um, but let me get this adhered, this paper adhered down and then I'll be right back. So the way this is supposed to sit, it's three quarters of an inch in, three quarters of an inch in from the outside and a half an inch up from the bottom. And that's gonna give you half an inch on top. So I drew my lines three quarters of an inch in and I drew my half an inch down here because if this is half an inch, three quarters of an inch, it's going to be sitting like that so you only obviously you only adhere it down to this part of the card of this strip here and here do not put any glue or tape on this part here so we're just attaching it to these these um, half pockets up here like that And all you have to do to know, once you get it there, just kind of turn the card, your strip over and draw a line with a pencil so you know this is the part where you're gonna be applying your adhesive. If you're using glue, just stay away from this corner, um, this edge, you do not want it leaking down and through here. So I'm going to be using my tape. So we're ready to adhere this onto our pocket page. So here's our pocket page. This is the spine, this is the top. We're going to be adhering this down kind of like in this. So we have more room up here, just like a quarter of an inch down here and all the way around. So what we're going to put behind here is going to be a red piece of paper. So from the 12 by 12, you know, see which one you like. You can either use this one, so it would be like this, or you can use this one from the 12 by 12, and it would be like this. And this is the one I am going to use. So I am going to cut this piece to size to go all the way around this pocket page. And then I will cut it, ink it, and be right back. So this piece is down. So now make sure this is top, 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 spine, spine. This is the spine. So this, this is going towards the spine this is the top, make sure your birds are in the right position. And then you're going to have this little border edge all the way around. Here, oops, here, here, and here. So it's gonna be something like that. So you're going to affix this piece down on this, this pocket page like that. So once you get it squared away, go ahead and adhere it down. And that's what I'm going to do. So we're done with this. This was so easy to make and it's so pretty. 
So what we're going to do, I have a, a piece of 80 pound cardstock and I cut it to kind of fit in here. So this, my measurements are five and seven eighths by seven. Five and seven eighths by seven. That's going to slide in here. I'm going to round the corners that are going in. Not the small with the large here. And I will be using a scallop punch for these edges. So that just slides in real easy. This should be, you want this edge to be flush with this paper. So you want your card, we're gonna be putting an eyelet, or at least I'm gonna be putting an eyelet here with a, a ribbon so we can pull this out easier. Or if you don't have eyelets or ribbon, you can use a pull tab or just a plain old ribbon that's attached. Let me just show you with um, my other Christmas album. This is what we made. It's a peekaboo. Called it a peekaboo page. So this is what we're going to be doing. Here is this one. The rounded corners have the eyelet and the ribbon. And then that just kind of sits flush with this. So it's going to be like that. So what I'm thinking for this piece, we have this in our stash. I wanted to use this for something. And we have this strip left over. So this is when we cut that gold, that gold off for that one page. Um, so I thought this would look good right here as an edging right like that. And you do not have to use this. If you just want to use a plain old photo mat and make a, um, something else, that would be fine too. I just want to see if I can make something with this. So I'm going to try to use this. I think that looks really nice with this. Then we will attach our eyelet and ribbon here. That looks so good. But let me see what I come up with. But see if you can ha pull this out of your stash and this, and we'll see if we can make something out of it. So the card would look something like that. I have not adhered it down. Um, it's something like that. So you'd have the, the deer doing a little peekaboo there. I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to try to get that down. Like I said, you do not have to do this. You can use plain old paper if you don't want to fussy with all this stuff. But I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so I got my strip in and did the scallop punch. I use glue because if you're going to be using a, an eyelet, you don't want to be cutting through tape. And of course, it kind of, the reason I don't like using glue because it kind of waves the paper a little bit. So after I get this done, I'm going to put it underneath a heavy book to flatten it out again. So I got that and then got this ready to go. What I did is I made this red strip one, is it like, I cut the down the red strip. So it's like one eighth of an inch, one eighth of an inch. Trimmed it off at the top right, right above his antlers and then um, cut it to fit down here. And then this is cut to fit so it fits right in through like, like this. 
to get that straight. So it's going to be like something like this once I get it down. So I think that's real, real pretty. So I'm gonna get this down. So there's, there's our finished card. I think that is so beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna have to put something on the back still, but this is this was the hard part and it wasn't that hard. And the other thing I do when I'm taking putting stuff in and out like this, I wanna make sure that it doesn't rub against the edges of the paper and lift the paper up while it's being put in and out. I, I put a bead of glue on the very outside just to kind of flush it in with the paper. And then I get an old candle and I just use the wax and go all the way around and work that wax in. And it just kind of seals it up so that paper doesn't ever get caught and start being pushed up. Do you have to do that? No, no. It's just my OCD telling me to do that. So then we get this in here and there's our, our little peekaboo. I think this is gorgeous. So I'm gonna do the eyelet and um, have to do the back first before we put in our eyelet. But this page is done. I'm gonna put it underneath a heavy book to flatten it out first. So this is the finished card. So I put the eyelet in the center. Um, make sure it's not too far in because you're gonna be putting a ribbon there for a pull. And then on the back side, I found this piece in my, my scrap stash. Has the rope edging up there on the top also. And it's almost the same width as the front, not quite. And then I just used craft card stock to keep this all flush with, so it's in one level. Um, it doesn't catch on anything. So this is just craft cardstock that's been inked. I did the same thing. I added my glue down at the edging around here and some wax all the way around to seal this part down here. So that is the finished product of our little card.